You know, Marquise, you've been playing exceptionally well. You're playing with so much confidence, and it's just really fun to see you, you know, um, out there doing your thing. You know, what's gotten to you to, to this point? Uh, really just hard work. The success is just a testament to the work we've been putting in. And mm -hmm. so uh, really just staying positive and, and trying to be consistent. When you play well, you know, we play well. So that's that's a good thing. So what we're going to do now is just really show some of your, your highlights and explain, you know, all the things that you're doing and, uh, to, to help our group. So, you know, here we go. What, what's your mindset, you know, as far as offensive rebounding? You know, what makes you, you know, attack the glass so hard? For most players, you got to like test the ball or make a play to really get going. So I just try to find any way I can to try to get myself going and get into the game. It's a huge, you know, momentum boost, you know, for our team, for you, and it gets us going. The next thing I think separates elite bigs is how well they run. You know, we get the ball and then sprint the floor for, for an alley-oop dunk. I mean, that's huge. Here we are, you know, just early drags and, you know, hard rim runs. You know, one of the things that separates you from every big in the country is the, this the ability to really move your feet, to be able to guard, you know, some of the best guards in the country in the ball screen defense. I think it's, you know, you're second to none when it comes to that. You know, you watch uh, every elite guard that we've faced, you know, you've been able to, you know, switch out and, and really make it hard for those guys. You're not just guarding the five, but really you can guard one through five. I um, mean, I want to be a versatile player. So, I mean, to be able to guard any position uh, is something that everybody can't do. And uh, usually when a perimeter player catches the ball, their eyes usually light up when right, a big right, is on right. them. So I just try to do my best to try to stand uh, between them and the basket and make it uh, the toughest shot that they can shoot. You have amazing length. What's your, what's your wingspan with 7'5"? Seven, 7'6", seven, yeah. 7'6", seven, seven, six. Six. okay. I mean, <laughs> didn't mean to you know, take an inch away, you know. So 7'6", wingspan with the ability to move your feet, and you, you know, and you get low. But it's tough for a guard to, to figure out, okay, do they want to drive you? And if they drive you, obviously that, that's, that's your house down in there. But when you're out in the perimeter and you're keeping them in front, now they have a decision to make, kind of like, do I shoot the J? Because they got the mismatch. But your length at 7'6", you know, poses a big, big time problem for them. So it's almost like whatever they think they're going to do, you know, you, you have an answer for it. How has that changed from you from, you know, your freshman, sophomore year to now as a junior? Uh, it's changed tremendously because, uh, I mean, when I got to college, obviously, uh, I was like straight center, you know what I'm saying, back to the basket. So uh, one thing I tried to do in my game is evolve it and try to be comfortable uh, everywhere on the court. Yeah. And so being able to, to make moves and be comfortable with the ball anywhere also means uh, being able to guard any position. Yeah. And so, like I said, I, mean, I just try to talk uh, to my teammates. Coach puts in great defensive schemes. So. Uh, Whatever he tells us to do that game, that's what I try to follow. In terms of being a five, a center, if you will, you talk about defense, the protecting the rim, you know, guarding the yard, so to speak, you know. What is your, uh, I don't say philosophy or technique and, and being such a great shot blocker? Uh, just timing. I mean, we, we watch a lot of film on all of our opponents and uh, you just gotta know uh, when the ball is going up. I mean, I just try to stay uh, between them and the rim and try to meet the ball at the top. So you time it, you wait till it leaves their hands, and then you, you, you reach at its peak and you go get it. And that was a huge play, you know, being able to block the shot and, and then still get it. That's like the, the Bill Russell. But every now and then you do have to throw it in the, in the, the, yeah. the seventh row. You know? <laughs> so here you're involved in the ball string. You know, you help out, you, you take care of that. They make the pass. You don't stay in that area on the perimeter, but you sprint back and block a shot. Yeah, because I mean, protecting the rim is, is obviously my job. I'm in the back line and I see everything. So just to earn my teammates' trust and, and knowing that nobody's going to get easy layups, it means a lot to me. Talk about the variety of moves that you've been able to showcase. Like, how did you develop that, that feel, you know, for the post? Uh, really just the work we've been putting in. I mean, I just try to take uh, the practice things that we that we talk about a lot into the games. And mm -hmm. uh, my teammates obviously trust me enough to, to make good plays with the ball. That's why they give it to me. So right. I'm just trying to keep providing for them and, and doing my part. I think it, it not only gets you going, but it gets everyone else going. Yeah, and then my teammates, I mean, obviously they, they command a lot of attention because I play with a, a lot of talented players. So for me to able to just have one-on-one -on -one coverage, uh, uh, it really helps me out a lot. Like who did you kind of watch to kind of, you know, maybe emulate or kind of steal from? You know, you have a, like a handful of post guys that you've kind of learned from over the years? 
Uh, I mean, obviously the greats like, you know, the Shaq, Hakeem, a lot of Anthony Davis, how he's real versatile. One thing about all those players is their feel and their understanding of angles in the post and their pet moves, their footwork. This was very, I would say, Hakeem, you know, the dream-esque, you know, this play versus Boston College, you know, where I, I think it shocked everybody, you know. It didn't shock me because I see you do it. I, just, I, I know that, that you're capable of doing that. And you, you go into your dream shake and you get the baseline move here. I mean, my teammates, they want me to do well. And so, uh, my you know saying, coaching staff, teammates, they, they're all behind me. And so I just try to go out and, and be aggressive and, and make the moves that I know I can. So right there, you, you know, you just made a, you know, the left hand jump, jump hook. It's very hard for a de defender to figure out what shoulder you're going over. Right here, you know, you kind of do the spin and he thinks he has you and you, and you kind of just, just shook him out of his shoes right here. It, it, it was, I think the whole bench went crazy. I gave it a 9.8. Nine. Okay. I would have gave it a 10 if, if you would have dunked, dunked it on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a big time move right there, big fella. I'm excited to, to see you take the next steps because you know, we're going to take another step, yeah. you know, when you do, and it's right there. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, try to keep it going. How we talked about earlier, being consistent is the key. You know, we got a, a lot of ACC left, so we're just going to try to keep it going. All right, man. A lot of growth, a lot of development. We're going to keep it going. Yes, sir. You got big plans, man. Good work.